Hey guys, what's up here with another live game currency brought to you from the wonderful, 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 wonderful world of the PBE. Yes, that was in the script. Today we're playing the slightly reworked Udyr. He's got some changes to his stances, specifically Tiger stance and Turtle stance, the big changes. Uh, if you're an Udyr player, you'll definitely think these are, this is a very significant change. If you're not an Udyr player, you probably won't necessarily feel much difference. He's going to run up to you, slap you around the face a little bit and still hurt a shit ton. Uh, so yeah, he's still Udyr. In essence, but some stuff has changed and I want to run over that change, uh, th these changes with you today. Show you what the changes are and also how they work and just, you know, that kind of shit. So, let's first and foremost run right into the changes Tiger Stance and Turtle Stance. So Turtle Stance, what happens now, uh, the persistent effect, so the effect that happens all the time is that on your first hit on a target, so when you first slap someone around the face, then every third hit after that... So if one hit and then one, two, third hit, you do, uh, you kind of put a dot on the enemy target, right? However, if your attack speed is such that you're applying, uh, you're getting more than that third hit before the dot has gone off, you will then reapply the dot, but finish up any extra damage that you are missing, if that makes sense. So. That I did not explain particularly well. I'm sorry. This like for me, this is like something that's actually kind of hard to explain because why the fuck is my sound so low? It's kind of hard to explain because I didn't I, I didn't get it at first. Like, <laughs> fire made a video on this and I didn't even understand it watching the video. I had to go into practice mode. But essentially, if you attack fast enough, so fast that the the tiger dot hasn't actually expired yet, then you will do the the damage that's left over. You'll do you'll instantly do it as burst damage. So it's not like you're ever going to be overlapping the dot, it's just purely going to be like, okay, if there's extra damage left over, you're going to go Pew! So attack, basically, long story short, attack speed is really good on Udyr now. I'm like, really good on him. It's already been, it always been fairly good on him, but now it's really good. Is it just me or is it quiet as shit? You know what, I'd rather have it too quiet and too loud. It might be something wrong with my headset, whatever. Uh, Turtle stance change is basically, it heals you back, uh, heals you up based off of your missing health. So the more health you have, your, your maximum health and your missing health. So it heals you based off of your, your max health, but then it will increase the heal based off your missing health. Now, I want to try and explain this Tiger Stance thing a little bit better for you guys, because I know I fucked that up really hard. <laughs> I know I have. Um, so long, like, I'll, I'll think of a way to, I'll think of an analogy while, we, while I'm clearing, <laughs> and then I'll use that analogy to... Uh, actually explain it properly because yeah I'm, I'm not explaining it particularly well but either way right here guys what we're doing we're just going to be doing a full clear we've been doing a build today which uh, hopefully will play into his uh, new kind of holy shit I'm lagging so hard play into his new uh, like tiger stance stuff a uh, very attack speed focused build so we'll be going for the devourer into the uh, triforce triforce uh, it was between triforce and blade and king I think triforce is better triforce actually gives you more attack speed than blade does uh, Blade doesn't even give you that much attack speed anymore. It's mostly AD now. So uh, Bather and King, not really going to be a good choice. On top of that as well, the Sheen effect from from Triforce is going to be really good because you run in on someone and boom, immediate Sheen damage. Uh, and just in general, you get health as well and, and AD. I think overall, like it's probably a bit better to go Triforce in general as an item on Udyr. But it's a very damage-focused build what I'll be doing here. But then again, going... Uh, like jungle enchant into Triforce is not that uncommon of a build. Vi does it, for example. Hecarim does it, although he actually rushes the Triforce first. So yeah, it's not it's not too bad. Uh, and all, to be fair as well, I uh, I'm considering it might actually be worth putting a point into your Phoenix stance when you're clearing the jungle early on on Udyr because Udyr doesn't have any AOE clears whatsoever. So maybe it's worth doing that. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe it is worth doing that. So, I'm going to go ahead and beat the crap out of this Scuttle Crab and hopefully you can see what I mean when I talk about the Tiger Stance. So when you hit something, you're going to be applying this Tiger Stance dot damage over time called Tiger Strike. It um, de deals damage over two seconds, right? Two s oh shit, hello, Sonny Jim, what you doing here? I don't think this guy can fight me here. Fuck, that's a heal. That's not good. Ah, we got him! 
Holy shit. He got healed up so bad there. So uh, we, 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 when you slap some, I can see that the sunrise behind, like out the window and it is really red. I don't think you guys would be able to see that. It's pretty late here at English time. I fucked up my sleeping pattern, but holy shit. We got him. We killed the lease in. But yeah, when you, when you first slap someone around the face, like you saw there, you apply a dot, which lasts for two seconds. And then on the third hit after that, you'll keep, you'll, you'll do the dot again, right? So if you attack more than three times in those two seconds, so that you will then like apply the dot again, if there's any of the dot damage left over, say that it's ticked for like, I don't know, 100 damage, and it's over the full duration, it will tick for 150. If you then reapply the dot, it will just immediately do a 50 damage burst. Does that make sense? I don't know, it probably doesn't. But either way, you'll see what it's what it's like. Um, it's a lot of damage, it's a lot, yeah, it's a lot of sustained damage, but it's also actually a lot of upfront damage. It's just like a lot of damage. This is no other way to describe it, it's just a lot of damage. <laughs> but yeah, we want to go for our Devourer Enchant for this build, so that's what we're going to go with. Rushing first, I think Ud I probably should be invading a bit more on Udyr. Honestly, I'm playing a little bit of Brain AFK this game, so... Something I actually haven't even mentioned yet is the activation of your Tiger Stance on Udyr gives you a shit ton of attack speed as well by itself. I don't think that's actually changed about Udyr though. I think, I'm pretty sure it always used to do something like that. I mean, actually, back in the day... Back in the day, it was the activation that applied the dot. I remember that, because you'd play him in lane and just like run up to someone, press Q on them and fuck them up. But still, let's go for the Cartus here. Run in with the Bear Stance, press Q, start a step behind... He's dead. Good shit. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Really easy ganks on Udyr as well. Really easy ganks. He's a very solid fighter, Udyr is. He's always been a very solid fighter. We're not going to go in for that Lee Sin. We're a little bit low on health. We're not like really low, but we're low enough that I don't want to do it. We'll put it that way. But we might go for it still. It looks like Lee Sin's going to head down bot side regardless here. So if we can maybe chase him, it might be nice. We've got Karma coming down as well, so... This might be something that would work in our favor here. If not, we can just go for these guys. <laughs> There's the smite. Nice, beautiful stuff. Level 6. Okay, so here's the thing on, on Uda as well. Level 6, you obviously don't have an ultimate, so you can either put another point... Uh, you can get, like, another point in your the stance that you're not leveling up, because Uda is a champion. You either max your Q or your ulti is, like, your stances. Uh, and they're just, you don't really have an ultimate, you just have like a primary stance and that's it. That sun, sunrise is honestly ridiculously bright. I'm going to try and see, to get you guys to see this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, whether that's going to, is that going to adjust the webcam settings at all there? No? Okay. It's ridiculous though, like honestly, I've never seen a sunrise like that in a, in a very long time. It's quite beautiful actually. Holy shit, Karma's invading and going crazy. <laughs> Almost. I want to find a way for you to see that, but I don't think I'll be able to. She's... Oh, good flash. She's done though. To be fair, that's kind of my bad. I could have, like, probably saved her there, but I was too busy telling you guys about the Sunrise. But yeah, so either, like, you can put another point in, like, you can put a point in Phoenix Stance here. If we're doing the Tiger build, we can put a point in Phoenix Stance, just to help your clears a little bit. Uh, or you can just do what I'm going to do, which is just put another point in Turtle. I'm not actually sure whether I'm maxing W or E second on Udi here. That's something that seems to be like up in the air. People aren't really sure whether they max W or E second on Udyr. People do both, honestly. So we're going to initiate here with our bear stance. All right, that's fine. We get slash. I think blue smite is probably pretty necessary though on Udyr. Uh, I, I would say so. I would say like it's just so good for. It's just it's just so good for like just running down people and stuff. Because he he does struggle with being kited, right? So yeah. I'm, what is this static shift thing? Energized? What is that? I don't even know what that is. Why am I being energized? Wait, do I have... I've got Warlord's Blood Lost? What the fuck? Okay, I'm not... I didn't... I'm, I'm not meant to have this. <laughs> I'm meant to have Fervor for battle. I'm not meant to have... Did I, did I genuinely take Warlords? What the hell? Okay, yeah, we're, we're meant to have Fervor. Fervor is really good because you get loads of stacks with it with your attack speed. Uh... Yeah, Fervor's like really good on him, like legit really good on him. And I've got fucking Warlords, fuck my life. I had no idea. Oh well, we can afford our Devourer here soon, so we're gonna go ahead and go for that. We could be doing like a full AP build here if we wanted to and get like Zerka Greaves as well, but I really think that would be a terrible idea. I'm actually gonna do a cheeky gank topside here first though, because this lane is pushing into 
uh, into Talon here. So he's going to be Gangplank will be going a little bit out of out into the lane here. He's going to be comboing his barrels here. Stun him. He's got oranges, but it's not going to be K. Beautiful. Ouch. <laughs> that ulti actually kind of hurts. There we go. Push this in. He's got. He's got TP. I don't know whether it's up or not, but either way. I'm probably just going to go for my... I'll just go for W. I'll go for E second. It means you can chase people down. It's more aggressive. That's all you need, right? Alright, there we go. We'll go for Mertrods next, I think. Mm. I don't know, actually, if we'll go for Mertrods. It doesn't... I don't know, actually. I'm not sure. We don't really need Mertreads. Ninja Tabby will be really good, actually. I don't think we need Mertreads. But yeah, we want to farm up here just to get the Triforce a little bit. Um, but I, I can go for the Dragon here as well. Udi is someone who's good at, like, if you're a good fighter... Thank you. If you're a good fighter, you're very good at taking uh, Dragon as well. You always, if you've got good, like, brawling mechanics, good single target damage, you'll be good at taking away Dragon too. So we're going to be focusing on that Dragon here. Just take this one away. I should be honestly reaching a point where I just stop taking damage from the jungle soon. You can go for Hunter's Potion, by the way, guys, if you want to go Hunter's Potion on Udyr. It's definitely a thing you can do. Uh, I'm not doing it this game because I'm not really farming the jungle that much. Instead, I'm just farming players. Yeah, we get Dragon. That's good shit. Right, let's see here. I'm going to put some deep... A vision down. Deep vision is always something you want to look for. Pretty sure Karthus is here. He is here. So is Karma. So let's flash on this guy. <laughs> Just fuck, fuck him up. No, I couldn't go bear stance. Oh shit, we have to dance a little bit here. <laughs> We're good. I don't know how I'm meant to juke these skill shots on 160 MS, but I'm going to try my hardest. Udyr is such a dugudum champion. Like all his abilities is dugudum, 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 dugudum. If you're in Tiger Sans, that is. It's a dugudum build. It's pretty fun. Walls there. I'm not going to invade him here. It doesn't really seem to be much point. He'll probably just run away and get under tower. Oh, he's actually running. He's actually running. He's leaving his walls behind. That's cool. It's cool by me. Dugudum, 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 dugudum. If we, oh my goodness, I'm lagging so hard. Mm, I want to go for Krogs here and then recall, I think. And then we can head down to our bot side. Maybe go for maybe go for Gangplank here. He's pushing in again. Kind of low. Squishy champion means he's an easy target for our Talon. Kind of. A little bit. Uh, if this isn't warded though, this should be a pretty easy kill. Hopefully he'll use his barrel here. There it is. This is warded somewhere. I don't know where, but it's warded somewhere here. We'll go for the Krugs and then recall here. I mean, I don't know whether going with Krugs is actually a smart idea right here. Because it does mean that our blue buff is kind of quite vulnerable right now. I don't think I can save her there, sadly. It's kind of good though, honestly. Like, we don't want to stop this game too hard. So if we can die, that's fine. I'm, I'm killing Krugs. Wait, they're not doing my red buff, don't worry. It's fine. We don't want them to FF too early. <laughs> we generally don't want them to FF too early. We'll give them a little bit of a, a back end to the game, shall we? Alright, so we're going to go for the Phage here, not the Stinger. I think even though... <laughs> even though... That we are going for like an attack speed focus build this game. Uh, the Phage as an item is so good on Udyr. The, the stats are just too good to pass up, really. And the move speed is really nice as well. If you're, if you're waiting on someone, you're beating the shit out of someone, then getting the extra, like, move speed and stuff is really nice. Like, you're seeing now, like, I just always... I've always got a little bit extra move speed. Like, when I'm hitting things, I've got 410, 410 move speed. As opposed to 390 when I'm not hitting things. Which is really nice. Like, legit. It's really good for Udyr gonna keep farming i really want to just get enough gold for my triforce but i i also want to you know play the game a little bit oh my god that's an aggressive heal 
All right, let's do some stuff, shall we, boys? All these like feathers flying around, man. It confuses me. It really confuses me. I don't know what's going on. We can probably flank this one. Okay. <laughs> I can't run straight into them without my flash, I don't think. Hello, Q. W. No damage, that's fine. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Two for three is okay. <laughs> I got a kill. I'm okay with that. Here comes Karma. Was that two for two? It wasn't two for... Oh, Talon died. Did Talon... No, that was two for three, was it? Or did Talon die topside? That was two for three. Nice. But once I get this Triforce, you guys will really see how much damage this build has. It's pretty crazy. It's new deer. New deer. <laughs> Right. Do you reckon we can get Carthus guys? What do you think? What are you reckoning? Yay or nay, boys? Yay or nay? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Does he have his flash? Yes. You can tell <laughs> when he started moving towards that wall. That was a that was a flash in ten right there. Good shit. No more flash for Carthus. I might be able to sit, yeah, I was going to say, I might be able to sit here and either wait for someone or catch Lee Sin doing his, uh, Krugs. Wait, Gan, Lee Sin. He actually might be able to run away from me here. I don't know. I am Udyr. He's got, he's got Moby Boots. Okay, never mind. That's fine. <laughs> I don't think I can catch, even though I'm Udyr, I don't think I can catch him with Mobys. I think he's got away from me there. I know the uh, Zaya and Rakan are here too, so I've got to be a little bit careful. But I'm down for this shit. Am I still down for this shit? No. Nope. You know, ironically, if I just stayed in the same position, if I hadn't tried to run around, I actually would have been able to join that fight. Things up in 8 seconds, we can take that one. These guys can stop me still. Right, let's try and fight a little bit more soon. We, we'll have a, like our Sheen slash Stinger. So we're almost able to leave the jungle and do some shit here. <laughs> I really want this Tribal guys. I don't know if you can tell, but I really want it. It's uh, oops, a good way to show off the build if I get it. We'll be able to see just how strong it is. It's really strong. It's really good. I think this would be the best build on him. I think the thing is with Ude, especially in like ranked and if you're going to be playing... Uh, like the higher up you go, Nilo as well. You can't just go like full, like full, 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 like uh, damage items. Especially for someone like Udi who can get kited quite easily. You have to be quite tanky, or it's just pointless, right? So, or people, you know, you get up to people and they'll just like turn around and kill you before you can do anything to them because you're not someone with a gap closer or anything like that. So you have to be able to run people down, and oftentimes you won't survive long enough to run people down if you're squishy. Let's just chase the support. Fuck it. Why not? Why not? Chasing the support. What's wrong with that? I actually bear slapped him mid, mid jump there. Beautiful. Like, there was no way you were gonna get that kill, Sunny Jim. No way. Uh, we need like a hundred gold here. This looks like a hundred gold waiting for us in mid lane. Maybe a bit more. I might actually die here. <laughs> no! No! Ugh. Fuck, I couldn't even use my turtle stance. That was so close. Worth it. That's worth it. That's worth it. Two shutdowns, but I got gold. I've got my Triforce, so I'm happy. Okay. Alright, we'll go for some slightly more tanky items here. We don't have any armor, for example, yet. And we are against quite a heavy physical damage team. If Gangplank would leave top lane, at, at least. Once this guy's farmed up, he's got his, like, U moves or whatever it is. This guy next, he's going to be a bit, of a bit of a pickle for us. 
I don't think they've released the new items on PB yet, have they? Oh shit, they have. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't want Gargoyle with stone plate, that's for sure. I don't think I want Adaptive Helm either. They don't really have any machine gun mages on their team. I guess for Karthus it could be pretty good, but... It's probably better I just go like Randwins. I know Randwins got nerfed, but it, I think Rand this Randwins nerf is actually... I think it's actually better, personally. <laughs> like, it doesn't give you as much stats anymore. Uh, but it costs... It's so much cheaper. It's not as good against crits, but... Honestly... Like, I feel like... The fact that it's so much cheaper and you get so much better attack speed slow, it's so much better from that perspective. Okay. Look at this damage. Two hits! Two hits and I have half health already. G you... What would you do against that? If you're a carry, what do you get against that shit? Two hits and I half health though with this Triforce. Disgusting. Good shit. I'm still so bloody slow though. I'll probably go like Dead Man's Plate for, for the speed boost. I think, you know, Udyr is still Udyr even after this, after this buff. So he's like, he's going to still struggle. But at the same... Just because people run away from him, you know. But at the same time... Udi has a lot in his kit to actually get up to people, so there's not much they can put in his kit to like ease his problems without just breaking him. He's not a bad champion, like honestly, if you know how to play him, he's 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 fine. It's just like he's got he has very uh, obvious flaw. Holy shit! What am I watching? I don't even know what I'm watching. That quadra. She wants it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Let's try. That was pretty cheeky. Almost got away with it. All right. So with this build, I kind of I worked it out when you've got rank five of your uh, rank five of your Q with this build. You won't be getting of that like, any of that extra like overlapping tiger stance and dot damage. So you don't attack more than three times in two seconds with this build. Uh, when you press Q, however, you do. So when you press Q with this build, he just uses oranges. I can go in on him now. What the? Why am I? So why did I just, why why did I just stand still? What the shit was that? Why did I just stand still? I legit... Did you see that? I legit just started... I just stood still. I don't know what the fuck that was about. <laughs> what the hell was that? What the fuck is that shit? <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Anyway. I will go for Dead Man's Plate here. Uh, what was I going to say? Yes, so with this build, you don't get any of the extra damage just from itself. So you're, you're, you won't be attacking more than three times in two seconds with this build. However, you do, uh, if you activate your Q, you get one extra. Having said that, when I tested this, I actually did have the wrong... Uh, I don't know if I had the wrong runes, but I did have the wrong masteries. I still have the wrong masteries. If I had further, then he was dead, by the way. Holy shit. Can you imagine if I had further as well? Blimey. But yeah, um... This bit, like when you press Q here, you do attack more than twice, and you just the dot starts doing extra damage. If you get any more attack speed, it does even more damage. It's crazy. I should probably be having like Phoenix Stance here, just like one stack of Phoenix Stance, just so I can clear these chickens, which are otherwise is really annoying. I should probably be here as well, honestly. <laughs> nice, we got it still. Alright, I'm coming in, boys. Takeaways. You sure not today, Sonny Jim? Are you sure not today, Sonny Jim? I think today's good. Let's get a point. Let's see how fast we do this chicken counts with Phoenix Stance. Because Phoenix Stance still scares with attack speed. I don't even know if that's faster, honestly. It's such a crap. Just for the minis, maybe it's good. Come here, Lee Sim, mate. 
Give me the least in booty. It's so clunky playing this guy with all this ping, which is weird because like he doesn't really need much mechanics, right? So you would think ping isn't a problem, but just like just a stutter step as much as you kind of need to, like move in between all your attacks. It's kind of annoying not to not to be able to do that with the ping. So much damage, holy shit! <laughs> Did you just put two wards down? <laughs> okay. I want to test my damage on Baron, actually. Let's go for Baron. Fuck it. Fuck you. Fuck you. I wonder if they'll actually face check us here. Let's go for it. Alright, so here we go. If you just press Q and just like AFK on this thing, you can see my damage building up here. I should probably be using the other stances as well, right? Oh, well, actually, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't, that's a lie. Yep, that dies pretty fast. <laughs> that's pretty quick. That didn't hit me. This game is bullshit, bro. Alright, good shit. I think we can just start running around and gunning people down. Let's see if someone's on their red buff here. Anyone around this area? Anyone want to show their face around here? Anyone? I can certainly do a flank. Mm, I don't really want to run in 1v5, not gonna lie. That's probably a bad idea. I'm actually really squishy still though. Be free, Foxy. Yeah. I'm gonna get out of here and buy some fangs. We'll go for the dead man's, I think. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have random wins, but we'll, we'll go dead man's. Oh, Karma's popping off. Beautiful. Right, let's get some more damage as well. I feel like I want a bit more damage. I actually think Ginzu's would be really good on this guy. Maybe. I don't know, actually. I think Blade and King might be better. Oh, I'm on crit. I'm like... <laughs> where? Where's Ginzu's? Where's Blade? We'll go Blade. I don't know whether this is actually like... I don't know. Since they changed Blade, it's probably not as good for a build like this. But having said that, having too much attack speed and not a lot of... Like... Not a lot of other stats, it's kind of bad. But again, Wits End actually might be pretty good here. Was my The dot is physical damage, right? Yeah, the dot is physical damage. It scales with your AD as well, so... Having AD is not bad. And the uh, the slow from Blade would be pretty nice to catch people with. So we'll probably pop off the old Blade the Ruined King. Using Phoenix Stance to split push. Back in Season 2, I learned Udyr to play him for ranked. And uh, back then, you used to max Phoenix Stance on him. I think this was actually when uh, Rock Solid, Team Rock Solid, first popped into the into the competitive scene, and they popularized uh, Udir, specifically Phoenix Udir. Uh, you'll never guess who that was. Oh, they surrendered. Never guess who did that. Jat. Jat did that. The now NA LCS caster. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, boys and girls. Let me know what you thought about it down below. I probably should have spent a bit more time fighting <laughs> this game. But hopefully you can still see it. Like it, It's just like, yeah, it's crazy. If you get a lot of attack speed as well, you do even more damage, which is pretty bonkers. But in practice, you're still pretty much Udyr, So, But still, definitely something to keep your eye on. Thanks for watching the gameplay, boys and girls. Cheek thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me if you want to see more. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening and I will see you in my next video.